in Kenya, hyperhidrosis is not talked about. There is no data to show the number of people living with hyperhidrosis in Africa because Africans do not speak out about health issues. I know. In our countries, it was never talked about until 2018 when I decided to do it. And five years later, I have people from other different African countries reaching out to HAK. There is no empirical data, none. But if I check on the hyperhidrosis and the people living with hyperhidrosis in America, I'll find empirical data and it will show based on genders, male and female, men and women, and even children, it will show in percentages. Same, even in Europe, they have data to prove these are the number of people. And there are those who keep on um, doing, improving the research and updating, that's the, that's the word, updating. There are those who keep updating on a yearly basis. So the data you have that backdates five years ago is not what they have on the sixth year. And what the data shows is that the numbers are increasing based on the categories of sweat, primary, secondary, and other sweat-related issues. Well, how about Africa now? How about the African continent? Where is the data to show? There is none, because people are not talking. People are suffering in total silence. And there are those who don't even know it's a medical condition. Up until they start getting in the way of their daily activities. That's when now they find out. When they Google search here in Kenya, they see hyperhidrosis awareness Kenya. It's like heaven for the first time. And they're able to get in touch with me and we. Awareness starts from the onset. We do what we call the sweat background check or the sweat diagnosis, a set of questions. And the client for the first time is happy and ready and willing to start treatment and it doesn't end there. We check up on them and we find out that besides, you know, they have other triggers that makes their sweat even worse. Some of them are under a lot of stress, anxiety, whether it's situational or clinical. You become the expert. This is why you must move away, you the advocate, move away from your normal ways of doing things because you lose the bigger picture. 